Today we are doing a decoupage project with paper napkins and a terracotta pot. The supplies that we need are pretty simple. You need a terracotta pot whatever size you want. A paintbrush, maybe two because we're going to be using paint and we're going to be using decoupage. And decorative paper napkins. I have here two different choices and I don't know which one I'll use. If you have signed up for our, our library craft project, then there is a particular one that everybody has in their kit. You want white acrylic paint, which I'm going to pour onto my plate because that's going to be our first step. And then the next item will be dishwasher safe Mod Podge. And with that, we'll go ahead and get started. So I shook up my, my white acrylic paint and I poured some onto my paint plate. And then now all I'm going to do is brush it onto my pot. It doesn't have to be neat because this is just creating a background for you or, or kind of a, a white canvas. So see how I'm painting it? I'm not being particularly neat. I actually kind of like the little bit of a messy look for this particular craft because it's a little bit of a shabby chic kind of look, but this is, because it's yours, it's up to you how nice you want to make it. And as I'm sure you noticed on the plate that I didn't, I'm not using a lot of paint. If you have the kit, then there's very, very little paint in the little cup that you'll be getting because again, it doesn't really use much paint at all. Maybe a couple of tablespoons worth. I need to pour in a little bit extra so that I've got some more paint on my, on my pot. I'm also, ah, I spoke too soon. I was going to say I'm also proud of myself because I don't have paint on me. I definitely spoke too soon. And, oh, I, I forgot to mention, make sure that you have a tablecloth or a newspaper or something down so that you don't mess up your table. And then I'm just doing the edges a little bit. This is optional. You do not have to paint the inside. You do not have to paint the rim. This is your craft, but I'm showing you how to do it. So, this is the pot. Have paint on me. Just let it dry and if you are using one brush, let it dry and go wash your brush and then I will see you in a couple of minutes. All right, now my paintbrush is, is clean and I now am going to choose my napkin. I decided I'm going to use this larger napkin. Now, here's the trick that we're going to do while we wait for our paint to dry. You open your napkin, and then most of these decorative napkins are three-ply. So what you want to do is pull apart. Oh, looks like this one's two-ply. You're going to pull them apart like this. Pull apart the different layers like so. And then you can discard 
the white part. This one is definitely a two ply. This makes it thinner and more pliable to work with. Now, another fun thing to do to make is make your edges raw. We are going to take our paintbrush, which is now is damp, and what I want you to do is dab along the edges because this is going to help with tearing the, the paper napkin. So, oh, I forgot to tell you what to dab with. Water! So you'll dab the edges with water with your paintbrush. You could also do it with your fingers if you wanted to. And then you tear and it gives it a nice raw edge that is, gives it more of that shabby chic kind of look. You can also choose to cut your edges so they're nice and clean. That is a personal preference, completely a personal preference. I like this raw edge and if you saw the sample, then you like the raw edge too. It, I think the raw edge is really nice, especially if you're doing a nature scene, like flowers or if you have trees in the background, because then it looks a little bit more natural in some ways, I think. So I'm doing my edges and I am by all means not done. because this is just the beginning. And I keep tearing and pulling. And pulling and tearing and pulling and tearing. You could also do this with dry edges, you just will get a different kind of effect. And then where we have our seam, you can also choose to do the same thing. Dab a little bit of water along the seams with your paintbrush or your finger. I chose to use my clean paintbrush. And then just gently tear. Always gently tear. And then I almost didn't gently tear. Okay, so that's one piece. And that's another piece. That's four pieces. All right, now, the next thing we're gonna do, how we're ready for it, is you're going to take out your Mod Podge. You can use the same paintbrush, it's not a big deal. And take your pot, the paint is pretty much dry, and paint some Mod Podge on some section on a section as I'm doing take a piece of the napkin decide which way you want it to go I think I'm gonna go this way take a lay it down on your pot and then get some more Mod Podge and dab it. First, you're gonna wanna dab at the, the, at the bend or the fold of the pot and then very gently paint outward. 
It's going to bubble. It's going to wrinkle. That's okay. It actually adds to the aesthetic. Makes it look a little bit cooler, a little bit more shabby chic. So see how we've got it? Get it all nice. Nicely done, nicely laid on out. And then I'm gonna grab another one. And I'm gonna lay that one like so. Oh, I need to put some Mod Podge on it. Oops. Yeah, if you're anything like me, you're messy and you need to have a tablecloth. Okay, I decided I want it like so. And see how they're overlapping. That's imp that's what we do when we decoupage, we overlap. And uh, with, with this particular terracotta pot size, the napkin is definitely larger than the pot. And so the for sure, if I want to use all four of the, the sides of the, the napkin, there's definitely going to be overlap. So just be aware that's going to happen. It's okay. It's not a bad thing. And see him. Getting it in two. This is a messy craft. I don't know if you noticed the, the glue all over my hands, but you know, that's what we have soap and water for. All right, I can get another section. Um, the, the reason I use the dishwasher safe Mod Podge is because terracotta pots are already very porous and water is going to go through. And because of that, then we're going to risk the, the napkin disintegrating. So the Sorry, I'm placing my, la my last piece. So the, the waterproof decoup um, Mod Podge, the, the dishwasher safe, means that it's going, it's not waterproof. Most, most Mod Podge is water soluble. So it, that means it disintegrates when it gets wet and, or it, it, it dissolves not disintegrates, it dissolves when it gets wet. And we don't want that to happen because we water our plants regularly. And if you're putting plants in this, you don't want to wreck your pretty artwork. And you want it to look pretty. So I'm pushing down in the, the fold Make sure that you're covering all of the napkin with the Mod Podge. Um, I also put the Mod Podge underneath the napkin so that it 
provides that extra protection so that the, the napkin doesn't disintegrate. We have, we've done this craft before at the library and we have pots that were made a few years ago and the napkin is still quite nice looking because this is the, the way we did it. Okay, so really, really this is all it takes. It takes a little while for it to dry. Um, you want it to, you want to give it about 24 hours to set. But this is our decoupage. Oh, I haven't had it in the wrong, at the wrong angle. This is our decoupage pot. So I'm going to put it up on something so that it can dry and set and look all pretty. And there you go. Now you know how to decoupage a terracotta pot that is usable in about 24 hours. So you can put plants in it in about 24 hours.